Hello YouTube, today I will give you through my iPad 2's crappy camera the new crap that Apple has unveiled to us through the third beta of their next major update to the operating system which is iOS 5 for iPhone and iPad and whatnot, right? So they've given you pretty much this little square, if you can tell, this revolutionary black square with a dot on it and we'll see what that square does so let's slide to unlock the phone and well now you have a weird black square invading your uh, your home screen and any screen you are on and what it does you can move it around similar to like a FaceTime picture thing while you're in a FaceTime video call and well what this does is pretty much odd for people with disabilities see some of the very hard to use buttons on the iPhone, such as the home button and volume buttons and etc. etc. Right? So they've given you the ability to do all these stuff that are so very hard to use, such as, you know, put the phone on vibrate and um put it on orientation lock. Things that are so unbelievably hard to do. Can I'll do them through here. Right? So pretty much you can also set up um it also allows you to use gestures that are also pretty hard to use. On an iPhone, for example, right now from here, open up Safari. You can, of course, disable that because you're you going to be able to do that with your Switch. But luckily, you can disable the black square of destiny. And, well, what you would do, right, is, for example, it gives you a, a mean to use any of the buttons, physical buttons or gestures on your iPhone without actually you, you performing the gesture or pressing the button right for. So here you have device, some favorites or gestures, right? So if you want to go home, you simply hit home and it gets you right home, right? And for example, if I want to pinch, let me go to favorites, here you have pinch, you can very easily do that like this or something. It's still somewhat buggy. I, I, I honestly don't know how to use it yet, but um, I imagine it allows you to do the gesture somehow. You think you click. Well, anyway, it's still very buggy sometimes. The, the square would appear sometimes it doesn't, but yet again, it's still in beta, so you, that is to be expected. For example, also in device, you can also uh, simulate a shake. So if, if, you, if you're playing music, I'll show you that in a moment. You can also mute and unmute the phone, volume down, volume up, rotate screen. You can put it uh, right, and as you can tell, it does rotate it. And you can also put it back to lock screen, right? And you can also set up custom gestures that you can perform. This is directly on settings, right? So let's go to settings, go to general, go to accessibility. And all the way down to assistive touch, which is the new feature I just showed you. And um, you can create a custom gesture here. I think I have, let me delete a few. For example, let me delete this one. Right, and you can go create custom gesture. And this is a gesture probably that you would utilize in a game or something. And that it isn't native to iOS. For example, maybe a four finger like that, that you might use in a game or something, you can simply hit save, name it, whatever you want. And then, once you're in the game and you have to perform that gesture, instead of you performing the gesture, which requires so much energy, you can simply go to favorites, find the one I renamed, such as this one, and it performs it for you somehow, which I am yet to understand. And see, right now it just glitched out, uh, the black square disappeared, to see if I can get it back. And... That's a fail. Fail. Right, so that's pretty much what it does. Just get, get lets you do stuff. And uh, I was going to show you how the shake button would work. Just let me wait for the thing to go on. Either way, yeah, I don't have any music, so I can't even show you that either. either. But, well, so just ignore what I just said now. That is just a quick look into a new feature in a new beta for a new operating system for the iPhone. Right, so if you like this video, please subscribe. That would really make me happy in a way that I might not control myself and kill a few pigeons. 
Uh, okay, and um, also follow me on Twitter at the same username I use for YouTube, same one I use for Twitter, Patoma16. So awesome and original. And also, um, like, favorite, subscribe, and all that crap, right? Thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.